Today's story is Mare Louise the Bear by Jan Brett. Zoom, zoom, bzz, zoom, zoom, bzz. Bear Louise had been practicing for weeks, and now, just when the orchestra was going to play at the village square for a gala bar, a strange buzz was coming from his double bass. Why now, Bear Louise said to himself. The musicians arrived with their instruments as Bear Louise watched them climb aboard the bandwagon. All he could think about was his buzzing bass. What if his bass buzzed during the ball? What if the dancers stopped dancing and laughed at him? Zum, zum, bzzz, zum, zum, bzzz. Oh, he could only imagine. Bear Louise picked up the reins and cut to the mule. Off they went down the road. He was so worried that he didn't see a hole in the road ahead. And suddenly, the wagon lurched to a stop. The front wheel was stuck in the hole, and the mule took one look back and sat down and yawned. Oh dear, oh dear, said Belle Louise as he tried to get the mule to stand up and pull the bandwagon out of the hole. What can we do? We'll be late for the ball. I'll help you, said a rooster, who was passing by on his way to the ball. I'll just tug on the rope and pull you out, he bragged. The rooster pulled and pulled. But that mule, it stayed put. A tabby who had been watching from the top of a fence smoke, spoke up smugly. That isn't a job for a featherweight, he purred. I'll do it for you. And he took hold of the rope, and he pulled, and he pulled. But that mule would not move. Oh, my, Bear Louise said. At this rate, we'll never get to the ball on time. Everyone put on your concert tailcoats, so we'll be ready to start as soon as we get there. If we get there. Just then, a schnauzer came trotting over the hill. He took one look at the cat and sniffed. A small furball like you can't pull a bandwagon. Here, let me have that rope. He panted, he pulled, he pulled, and he panted. But that wagon stayed in a hole. Mayor Louise handed out the music. Everyone, take out your instruments, he said. We've got to start tuning up here. Along came a prancing billy goat. He looked at the schnauzer and snorted, hm, Move over, squirt. And let me do it. I'll have this wagon out in no time. So the billy goat strained forward. But to his surprise, he got... Belle Louise checked his pocket watch. <gasps> there wasn't much time left. He was about to give up when he heard a new voice. Allow me, said the plow horse coming across the field. This will be easy. I spend my whole day in the field plowing and pulling. But even the plow horse could not move the mule. Belle Louise tugged at his ears. It was almost time for the ball to begin, and he looked over and he saw a large ox lumbering towards them. Everybody tune up. Here comes someone who can finally pull us out. You're saved, roared the ox. This poor plow horse means well, but only I am strong enough to pull a bandwagon full of musicians. He twisted the rope around his horns and gave a mighty tug. The animals held their breath, but the mule would not budge. The clock on the tower started to chime eight o'clock. Oh no, Belle Louise shouted. In desperation, he pulled his bow across the strings, and to his dismay, he heard zoom, zoom, bzzz, bzzz. Oh no. All of you musicians now turn to look at the buzzing double bass. 
and out of that base a very angry bee, for it had been disturbed once too often for that bee's for that bee's desire. The first thing he saw as he flew out of the base was the hind quarters of the Yule. Bzzz, and with one giant sting, the bee made the mule jump to his feet, pulled the bandwagon full of musicians out of the hole, down the road, and into the village square, before the bell had even stopped ringing. The audience roared. What an entrance, they cried, and the orchestra was already dressed and tuned and began to play. Zoom, 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 zoom. It was hard to say who had more fun at the ball, the musicians or the dancers, because Berlioz had never played better. Encore, Berlioz, encore! And Berlioz came forward. Thank you all. And this evening, I would like to dedicate our encore to the buzzing bee who got us here. The end. <laughs>